Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't going too well for us, so we set up our own little business. The Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how tragic, embarrassing, or pathetic they are. But it won't always just be us. Sometimes we'll have potential employees on. We'll give them a little interview and see how well they fare. Oh, let's bloody get into it. Boom, shpacka wacka wacka. So... This office. Yes, How this sick. office. It's actually very cool. Built I mean, it it's from an the office. Up. It is. It's a real office. Um, um, and it's very... I like what your name badge says. Oh, thank you. I am, uh, I thought it was really funny. I think I it's it. upsetting. The queef executive I don't director. like it. I don't <laughs> well, like it. funny. Proper fifty. And mine's actually not that funny. When I, when I realised what you'd written, I was a bit disappointed in myself that all I could think of was proper fitty. But yeah. it does what it says on the tin, really, doesn't it? Because really. I am fit as fuck. Um, faff but yeah I love this office and enough water of, cooler uh, sorry go I was going to say enough of this faff oh. we'll get into the drinks but no water cooler <laughs> that's about drinks as well I yeah, guess yeah it's very true actually yeah and we've got nice um, up to date computers giving it tip tap toe tippy tappy too yeah um, but yeah enough of this faff oh do you want a, a beverage we're not we're not model employees we oh. do drink on the job occasionally. We do indeed. No cups of tea in these bad boys. Ayo. Mine says, world's best boss. Couldn't mine agree says, more. daddy. Ayo. So one's true, one's false. <laughs> Wowza Rooney, he's come scooting on over. So we'll go into our filing cabinet. Which Wowza course, Rooney, he's come hold... scooting on. I hate that. I hate Sorry, that. after all the stuff you say, you've said tippy tap toeing yeah, on the keyboard. Enough. All right, then oh, I'll okay. let you know. And inside, this is a, I'll take him over with me as well. In our <laughs> filing cabinet. Uh, we've got the only thing that we care about at work. Oh. <laughs> Beverages! Woo! Oh. Yes! What That's what day. I come to work in the morning for. So there's some water. It's always five o'clock somewhere. It's actually gone five now. It does. So it does. doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't mean fuck um, all. Sorry, bring him as well. What mm-hmm. we've got in here is we've got some... So George thinks he's funny. Um, water. Just to preface this. Hey, eh? got are, some yeah. water. Okay. Um, All right. And this, um, this is still water. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, we got some. We so got I some other I'm beverages in there as well. What did you? What did you want? Did you want? Um, I want some, the orange some see through or some orange. Can I have orange with still water, please? Okay, we'll open uh, that. Oh. That was for the second bit, but yeah. okay. Oh, okay then. I just think it'd be quite nice. Do you know what? Just so I don't keep clanging myself in the face with the filing cabinet, I'm going to have some orange as well. Oh, it looks really nice and unbranded. It does indeed. I wonder what it tastes like. Probably a not that a popular was. household name. Right, say when. Definitely not. That'll do. Oh, I'm upset. I'm upset. Stop. Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> oh, that's going to be horrible. Oh, no, I don't I like love it. being in this seat. Oh, I don't I get, like it. I get all of the control. I'm not having a good time. Oh. Blimey. That's an unbranded... Uh, unbranded? Balagde, Balagde, shut up. That's an unbranded sound, that. Jesus Christ. Sounds really oh. unbranded and orange. Oh, oh this is so hard. Oh. oh. I've lost my lid. Because <laughs> I got angry at I'm it. I'm not laughing at it. was a joke there. Yeah, um, I didn't like that. There we go. Are you joking? No, don't piss me off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't, let's not do this. Looks like a very hydrated wee. Oh, God. I'm going to the cinema after this. I'm going to fall asleep. You'll be I? rolling to the cinema. There we go. Are you calling me fat? No, you'll be oh, stumbling to the cinema. Sorry, you're always rolling. There we go. I always roll. That's a, that's a nice know. audio audio bit, isn't it? The scrape <laughs> along the table. Let me try this. George, that's fucking horrible, that. <laughs> oh, it's making me shake a lot. That is absolute rancid. Good then, right? Yeah. Yeah, very well. Nice. That'll work. All right. Oh, you horrible bastard. This is what the kids would want. Daddy's home. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I'm having a horrible time. That's not the lid for that one, is it? <laughs> God, oh. it's gone to the head already. Oh, I... I'm just on the fumes. I've got a contact oh. high from still water. This is not a professional work environment. Oh. Oh. Bloody hell. It's like a thunderstorm every time I go in there. Oh, heck. Um, so, <laughs> I thought... Carry on, as you I will. thought that we'd set the scene for people who maybe don't know how we know each other and are looking at us like this is a weird... Pairing. Mm. Um, I agree, personally. I Sorry, don't think second. that's called attention seeking. Carry on, as you were. I don't think that people would look at us and think that we should be friends. 
And I Why? look at us and don't think that we should be friends. In fact, right now I'm looking at you and I don't want to be your friend. But oh. unfortunately, I am. And we're here and we work together. We are colleagues. We are indeed. Yeah, do you know what? We're colleagues. I like that. But how did we meet? Do you remember? Um, I first saw you uh, through a little hole. It was that back alley, weren't a it? A little hole about there. Yeah. In a wall in a club. No, it wasn't. I hope. Um, it wasn't a club, though. Was it? Brooke's birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you had your tits out. I did. Got the knockers out. You did indeed. And Who's I thought, oh, what a tosser. <laughs> um, but then I spoke to you and I thought, oh, he's not actually that bad. No. Thank you. That's very kind of yeah. you. I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, let's keep and it And you were way. there. Uh, your tits were firmly what was I in the closet. Oh, yeah. Mine were in the closet. <laughs> Which is weird because the rest of him wasn't. Hey, up. Here we are. <laughs> that's offensive. Uh, not I can't offensive. wait to get you cancelled on this podcast. Well, that's like one ticked hey, off. Up. Yeah, Council George pointed at, pointed at fire, Katie. But you know, you got the you got the idea. You got the gist. Um, and then we've been friends ever since. Really, yeah, I haven't actually taken a sip of this yet. I want to acknowledge that um, George was actually a fan of me before we were friends. <laughs> oh, it's very strong. And you've told me this multiple times. You've been like, "Oh, yeah, I was such a big fan of you." Um, no, this this is embarrassing. <laughs> no, actually... It's true. <laughs> it's one hundred percent true. And you can't blame you. I've. I'm this very is, talented. I, who did I? Who did I show you this? I I was sharing you something that I'd sent somebody before, cheeky. Um, and next to it was a screenshot of. What this was is it? weird. I don't it was know. it was a screenshot of you liking one of my comments I did on your. That thing. is so I, weird. I clearly sent it to someone. And I was like, oh look, Max Belegdi liked my comment. <gasps> Wow. Now I can't get rid of them. Hey, yo. I, I, I've said hey up about 20 times. But, um, so northern. <laughs> hey, I'm a dude. What northern like? gang, uh, comment down uh, below. Hey, I just did it again. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, we've been best friends ever since. I wouldn't say best friends. I don't Busy really like mates. you that much. Um, but I'm glad that we're doing this together. I am too. This is going to burn the tonsils. Yeah, no, it's not. Wow. It doesn't feel nice. It I'm not enjoying like it. I'm not house gonna parties. Um, what were your first impression of me then? So I thought that oh, you were I a twat. You were well northern. Hey, hey up. Oh, hey up, hey up. <laughs> um, so you know me from the internet. What did you think when you I met me? I did know person? you from the internet. Well, yeah. no, you were obsessed with me. You were, you were a fan of me. I knew you from the, sort of the end of my binoculars. Hey up. Um, hey you just stop saying hey up. Hey up. I like it. I, don't know. I feel counter. like it's my catchphrase. No. Um, I'm enjoying well, my it. Thirst, my thirst, my mm. first impressions of you. Ooh, tasty. Mm. My first impressions Delicious. were. Uh, what were my first impressions? I just thought you were a, a swell kind of guy. I was expecting Aww. you to be a wanker. Oh, right, okay. Uh, but you weren't. Oh, that's Much nice. Much of one. Just yeah. A little bit. Oh, that's lovely, that. I think sometimes people... I, I don't really see myself as an intimidating person or somebody that you would see and think, oh, he's not going to be nice. But sometimes people say to me that they're shocked that I'm nice to them. It just happened. Oh, Hmm. I just said it to you. Stop with the A ups. No, I did that on purpose. I like it. Oh, um, I don't. So, why do you believe that you are qualified to give advice? If I'm honest, I don't. Me neither. No, um, I'm quite shit at it. If I'm being honest, I will say, I struggle to not make, put a joke in every other sentence. Yeah, you're not very serious. No, if but I when I am a... serious, bloody hell, I make a I make a good advice giver. <laughs> Really? Uh, yeah, I feel like I do. Oh. Yeah, I, I agree. You've never been in a place where I need to give you proper advice. Oh, have you? I think we've given I think, advice I think that you've given me some some work advice, perhaps. Um, yeah. You've sat me down, give me a good thorough slapping. Max, you can't pull your trousers down. down in a YouTube video. Uh, you know, that's the that tends to be what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, mainly cock-based advice. Of course. I mean, Put it away. That's the best kind of advice, let's be honest. Um and I do think that at times you are good at giving advice. I don't think I am. No, I think, rubbish. Yeah, I think I probably could be if there was a situation that I had a certain skill set in. Like but what? that doesn't what really would, what exist. Would this, what would the skill set be? <laughs> I don't know. Pokemon. I, a a Pokemon-based Pokemon. dilemma. If that if that crops up. If that were to happen, I'd be there. Maybe if my house burnt down and turned to ash. I liked that. Not I really like Pokemon that. based, but just a bit of a pun. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. I'm Thank not going to lie. Um, I have a lot of Disney knowledge, as we know. Yeah. But, I mean, I actually don't have as much Disney so knowledge it's as just, people think. It's just if Pokemon or Disney based problems things that don't arise. Exist. That yeah, it's just things that don't <laughs> exist. Things that can't really help anybody out if they're in a real dilemma. Um, they're the things that I would specialize in. So, this business that we've started up, you could say it's quite a bizarre choice. Yeah. Um, but definitely going to be a fun ride. 
That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting. That's from what this. they call Max. Cheers. Fun ride. There we go. Nobody's ever said that. Daddy and done it. You almost broke it there. Oh, oh can I tell you a fun story? That's actually, what about they usually this... said to me. You almost broke it yeah. there. Yeah. Cheeky. I'm mental, me. I'm a fuck, fuck, fuck things up in the bedroom. Fuck, fuck, fuck any... <laughs> Right. Why? What I'm you upset. reminded me of then? Because you went in rather brash with the mugs. <laughs> mug on mug action. Yeah. Um, not describing you and your boyfriend. <laughs> hey, oh, really good fun. Oh, I hate um, you so much. No, so um, when we did that, that yeah. reminded me of when I was at school. There was this. You're like this. It's got a Disney character in it. Oh, okay. Um, there I'm, was I'm a little, there was a little vending machine at school. I don't know if it was a, if it was a, this, anyway. One of my friends yeah. got a little like squidgy. You Donald. have friends. Yeah, really. I had to pay him quite well. All right, okay. Um, That's good. So they've got they had a little squidgy um, Donald Duck. I don't know why I've done this. This is what squidgy oh, looks like. Right. Oh, I've um, seen it. Squidgy Donald you Duck. You get it out when and no one wants you to. They used to be able to lob them. They'd stick on the ceiling and stuff. Oh, you've done that. Before um, as and well. one of our um, friends launched it at us, and we were in the common room, and we both had a mug in our hand, oh. and we were going to catch it. We had yeah. a name for this. It was called Donald Duck Muggins, because um, it's oh, Donald gosh. Duck. You had to get it in the mug. So Muggins. Yeah. Um, so we were there trying to do it. And then we both went for the same shot and fist bumped through a mug at each other. Wow. Came away without any injuries, which I think was um, yeah. God saying... That's quite sweet. Good bit of bounce, lads. Well done. I think that we probably went to very different schools. Um, no Donald Duck Muggins where you're from. No. Um, people did used to throw a paper towel onto the ceiling. Well, yeah, we did, that. we did that as well. Yeah. Many um, things on our ceilings. And they actually at one point did it to cover up the smell of drugs that they were smoking. And they put it over the fire alarm so that oh, they I didn't you, get... Oh, pop the drugs in there and stick them on the ceiling. Well, they probably did try that. There were a lot of dumb fucks, bless them. Bless. There were a lot of inbred people. Wow. Um, yeah, not the best. Makes a lot of sense. I remember in year eight, a boy got excluded for using one of the um, canteen knives to and put it up against the teacher's throat. Wow. But they were plastic. So what are you going to achieve with that? Friction burn? Grow up. If you're going to do it, do it proper, I say. Bless that's, that's the first bit of advice for today's podcast. Yeah, if you're, if gonna, you're gonna stab, if you're gonna put your <laughs> put a knife to your teacher's throat, at least put some effort behind it. Of course, it. don't show up with a plastic knife, pussy, weirdo. Grow oh. up, quite frankly. Get that on a t-shirt. Don't show up with a plastic knife. Yeah, she was a bitch. To be fair, sorry, I've, I'm using I don't quite think, a lot of strong I don't know language. If it's, I don't know if, but I how like she was her. was deserved of her getting a plastic knife to the jugular. I think that she definitely she definitely didn't deserve a metal knife, plastic. Plastic was too shy. Too shy. Uh, what about like what's what's between wooden knife? I'd argue that that would probably do more damage splinter. than a plastic knife. Ooh. Oh, you don't want pl- splinter. Don't want a splinter. I need to stop thinking. Um, <laughs> what have you been up to recently? You're oh. moving to London, aren't you? I am bloody Hey-o! moving to London. Hey! Once this comes out, I've been here for ages. Wow. And I've taken London by storm. You if you're have. wondering why London's different, this guy's arrived. Oh. Um, I thought it smelled. Oh, oh that's, yeah. that's a bit rude. Yeah. Um, no, so, yeah, two days' time, all of my stuff, literally everything's arriving. I did, like, a big Ikea order and oh. an Amazon order, and oh. I think I've got, like, a total, like, 20 things oh. arriving. <laughs> I'm not having this. I'm not having this. <laughs> what? Where did that this. come from? I'm not fucking having this, because the last best time is... I've had yeah. enough. <laughs> we did a pilot, oh. and that was, that was small compared to the pilot. Someone gave me one of them. Pissing sel- seltzers. What are they called? I don't know. You've had, clearly, you've clearly had too many of them. I've had enough. Last time it bubbles up in me and it makes me do things that I would never normally do. And it's just happened again. I'm sorry to everyone at home. Bloody I'm hell. sorry to those listening on the commute. That was me belching. And I'm very apologetic. Max belched lengthy. Oh, every Every single podcast we've done so far, which is one to you, but yeah. Pilot as well. Pilot was even bigger. I hope. You'd what? normally think it would dip the plane down. <laughs> a big pilot. Hey, good one. Um, anyway, are we going to get on to some I think queries? What did you just call me? Queries. For those of you who don't know and are new to the useless hotline, we get have some people that send in letters and some people that call us up live in the studio. Live in so, stereo. Um, let's get to it, shall we? Let's do it. I think. I think I've got one that's printing right now. Blimey. And it is the magic of television. This isn't television. I mean, it, you can do this at home, this one, this, yeah. this experiment. You can, you can work print. your computer to a printer, if you link you it up. It. Uh, I'm sure there's a wiki how online if you want to know how to link a cool, computer actually. to a printer. Oh, blimey, look at us. That is quite cool. That is actually really cool. I, I enjoyed really, that. I'm really excited. Really excited um, about that. 
Hey, Max and George. That's our names. <laughs> really it wanted real. your advice with something because I don't know what to do. To make a long story short, my boyfriend of six years is heavily hinting that he wants to try anal, Ooh. but not in my little hole. <laughs> in his. Oh. He keeps nudging my fingers down there and has brought up the use of a strap-on a few times. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm worried. Does this mean he's gay? Please help. I'm really panicking. Yours faithfully. No anal, no party. <laughs> um, no, we don't laugh. We don't laugh because no, this person can't. is... One thing we here. don't do on the useless hotline is it's kink shame. Absolutely not. Um, so I know but that how funny is that kink? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a weirdo. <laughs> so, I know who would do anal. <laughs> what? That's weird. Anyway... Um, <laughs> have you ever fingered? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm not asking that. S screw that. I'm screw that question. That. Have you oh. ever fingered yourself? Right. What no, is your that's staying in. <laughs> not the finger. <laughs> Get that straight out. Straight for the fig. Hey <laughs> up. Um, my leg there. Have you ever encountered somebody who has wanted to do something oh, but stop, your I'll little stop you right hole. there. Never encountered anybody. No, well, we, <laughs> Good fun there, carry well, on. We could have guessed that one. Have you ever encountered somebody that's wanted to do something to your little hole? Um, that's a scientific term for that's it, That's a bit, a bit of an assumption. Hole. Assumption. Um, uh, my hole is not so little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> no, right. Oh, can I tell you this? Oh. I don't know if I've told you this story before. If, it, if it's anything to do oh, with no, it's not, it's not, lips, it's I don't not, know. Well, it is bum-related, right, but okay. not in terms of um, anything that's not meant to be up there. Jesus Christ. Um, I thought I'd turn this... <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you done? <laughs> How have I you just managed to swilled myself? I'm pissed off. This is not good. All right, so uh, wait, wait, back... wait. Let me clean myself. Is this happening? Yeah, I'm covered in shit. Just... On the topic of shit. Um, <laughs> oh no. So my uh, my relationship with feces was never a strong one. Oh. Um, and I, for some reason, as a kid, I didn't like pooing. This is this is hell of it, heavily off topic. But you said this small is a, hole. This is, did you study psychology ever? No. Right. You tell me your story, and then I'm about to tell you something that's a little bit. Well, I'm about to get diagnosed yeah, live you on really air. Are. Um. So I used to not like pooing. So I'd sit in the corner of the room so it wouldn't come out. Um. Wait, you, you did a different sit thing. In the you sat in the closet so it wouldn't come out. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, um, wait. So you would sit. Right. So what does that mean? So you would sit in the corner. So that it or not like on a hard like, surface, so it literally couldn't. So you would ram your behind against the wall. So no, I'd sit down. You, just, you can't sit on a wall. That's true. I didn't take I'd, that into consideration. I'd sit in the corner of the room. You know, like I said at the start. Yes. Um, and the poo wouldn't be able to come out. Just physically incapable. Yeah. Um, and it would, it would, I'd let it brew there for about a week. Oh, brew. Yeah. Um, oh, and I'm then a horrible yeah, time. I, I used to have, I used to have like weekly poos as a kid. Weekly. Yeah. Only once a week. Yeah, that's what weekly means, yeah. So oh, is it? weekly, um, and um, my dad used to come in with a coat hanger so it could get down the... No, you are talking shit <laughs> now. No, um, genuinely... Your dad shoved a coat hanger up your ass. <laughs> no! What? No, in the U-bend, so it would go around the U-bend. My What's dad a U-bend? Of the toilet. My what? dad didn't put a coat hanger up my ass. <laughs> that's what you just said. Oh yeah, you just, just said I just struggled. hung me up next to his coat. You just said I could, didn't shit, so my dad shoved no, the coat hanger I'd down do there. No, I do a poo, and, but it wouldn't get round the U bend. So we used to what anyway. What is a U bend? Of the toilet, the bit that goes under. I just want to play it back because George Clark one hundred percent just said that his dad shoved a coat hanger up his ass. To that get is the shit not out. occurred. I said he put it in the poo. For what reason? So it would get around the U-bend so it could flush. Otherwise, oh, because, otherwise oh, it's just a bit too rigid. Because you did such big shits. Yeah, it, like a little baby's George, arm. you did not explain that well enough I at all. Have, like the size of a little baby's leg, I'd oh, say it was. God. But anyway, uh, that's why my hole's not small. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. Wait, I'm so upset. Um, I fully just thought your dad was shoving court hangers up your ass to help you with your incontinence. No. Oh, God. But maybe a, God. Hanger, maybe a kit hanger could apply to um, no anal, no party. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm stuck on that. Oh, I'm upset. I'm upset. Right, oh, anyway. I would not getting stuck on a coat hanger. That oh, could hurt. I feel like I need to go to church. No way, no, no party. 
Your boyfriend is, is not gay. Sorry, church and no anal, no put story. That might hurt. Uh, right. right. So no anal, no party. Your boyfriend is not gay because he wants you to put it in. And yeah. You are a woman, I'm guessing. Yeah. Unless you're woman. a man, in which case, then he problem solved. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember. But. I remember when. Oh my God. I don't know if this is too much information. Probably. Maybe. The first time I ever had sex, which was with a girl, was anal sex. Oh, you ever. S- yeah, I felt you. Isn't that you mad to this. think? That is mad. I mental. mean, foresh- eerie foreshadowing of what was to come, really, because now I exclusively <laughs> have you. anal sex. <laughs> what was to come? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Just something to think about, really. Yeah, I'd rather not think about it. I don't know if that applies to this. Um, probably not. Probably not. What a flex. Um, get girls. Yeah. But what I would say is um, your boyfriend's not gay. Shove someone up him. If he's a bit too into it and you're not into it, then that's a whole different thing. Yeah. I wouldn't be worried that he's gay because he's wanting you to shove that I cucumber guess, up his pussy hole. I guess just give it a go. Yeah. Why not experiment? Or if, if you're really against it, just say, look, mate, the arse not is it's a one-way system. Yeah. Um, and I'm not I'm not ready to no. disobey the law. That's, that's fair enough. I mean, uh, maybe he too was well versed in it from a young age because his dad would shove a car tanger up there. That could be what happened. Um, so maybe he's just into it. Oh, back to the psychology behind that. There are studies to find that if you struggle going to the toilet, it means that you have an anal fixation. What does that mean? I I'm don't really know. I think anus. it means that you are. I yeah. just love ass. I think that's what it means. Not even just the ass. I think specifically the anus hole. I think we've spoken a bit too much about anuses and everything. I think we should um, that go on to the next one. Um, yeah, so well, oh. maybe if you fancy it, stick a finger up. If not, get on with your dear. Break up. I wouldn't divorce. go for the coat hanger straight away. No, definitely not. Um, oh, what's that noise? Oh, we, I think we've got our first caller. Do you want to? Bloody you hell, you heard that before I did. I did. Incredible. Whoa, it's really loud. Right, so I'm going to work this office phone as I know how to. Why I'm still doing this. Where's the button? I think it's that one. Yeah. Do I put it down again? Hi, Max and George. I'm big fans of you guys and can't wait to get your advice on something that's really been bothering me. I bring in my own lunch to work to try and save a bit of money, but twice now someone has eaten it. I can't figure out who it is, and I also don't know what to say. Please, can you help? Because I'm really hungry. (laughs) Oh, Ooh, good question. They sound as though they were in pain. Yeah. And as though they actually haven't eaten for quite some time, so this is Mm. quite a serious issue. Stomach cramp central. Yes. Not a um, stop on the Jubilee line, but it should be. Yeah. Elizabeth, maybe. Mm. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Right. Uh, back, back to the food. Um, um, I have think... you thought about... Oh, go yeah. ahead, Maxine. Go for it. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think labels. Mm. Which one? Um, Dua Leapers? Non-binary. Whoa. Oh. What? That doesn't make sense. Two different types of jokes. Yeah. But, uh, equally. Uh, equally as bad. Yeah. Uh, labels just label your tupperware love yeah are you labeling your tupperware perhaps I they are laboring the top i wouldn't say laboring perhaps they are labeling the tupperware and it's proving ineffective mm. so maybe brute force is the next and only option assert the person of which they don't know who it is how do they find out secret cameras Ooh. hidden cameras put a GoPro yeah. in some tin foil. I like it. Oh, what's this? A little brownie, maybe? Yeah. Oh, go to eat it's it. my demise. Yeah. Selfish fuck. Mm. Don't you dare and attach something that can speak as the um, tin foil opens. And as you open it, it goes, You selfish bastard. Yeah. Or Stop eating my food now. Dress up as the fridge and tin for your hand. Oh. Pop it through the back. Sorry, pop it through the back. Yeah. Um, and then they open it up. I like it. What are you saying, Janice? Let's have Where it. Where have you been taking my curly whirlies, love? Let's go right now. Might be a bit difficult to replicate the fridge for an entire day, but definitely yeah. not impossible. Okay, let's go for an, let's go for an actual... Um... Microwave. <sighs> Get it? Oh, no. It's a microwave. Oh my god! I wish we had a HR department. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I'm having a horrible time. Um, I say, <laughs> confront it head on. Yeah. You cannot live without food for longer than a week. Stand on your chair in the office and just shout it. Yeah. Who's eating my food? Like that. Wow, I've I felt like I would have stuck the new one up anyway. There you go. 
Yeah. If, if you, you, you right, very let's do a bit of role play. Let's okay. do a bit of role play. Oh, not again. There you go. Um, you're the person. Shut up. You're the person. <laughs> <laughs> you're the person who's stealing the food. Okay. And I am a hungry, starving employee okay. who um, is suffering right now. Okay. Right. Oh my god. Where's my food gone? Oh my god, I'm full. Where's my food gone? Oh, I've got such a full belly right now. Wait, what's that? Wait, Come let on. me just walk around the office. Let me just see who looks like they've got a oh, full like belly. Cheese and Marmite today. Susan, have you got a full belly? Oh no, oh, you're got a, um, got a pepperoni. You're all right. Clarice, have oh, you got a full belly? I don't know about the pepperoni. That might I've just been to Waggers. My breath sound. smell a bit awful. Excuse me, you, George. Have you Hello. got a full belly? My belly's full as fuck. What with? Um, lunch. Whose lunch? My lunch. Where'd you make it? Kitchen. Which kitchen? Mm, your kitchen. Oh, pick no. Pick up, then you pick up the drink. Boiling hot coffee. War. Permanently. Scolded. Burned. They will be a burn victim for life. <laughs> and they will constantly be branded as the food eater who should not have. There you go. That is how you stop someone from stealing your food. You Absolutely. make them a burns victim. 100%. The amount of time that they will have to reflect whilst in the hospital, getting their skin treated, is unparalleled to anything that your words could say. That was quite a good sentence. I'm quite proud it of that. It was quite a good sentence, but yeah. it was heavily, like, just morally wrong. Um, I guess we both have different morals then, don't we? Oh, well, yeah. so that's... Girl, um, what am I? I'm a bit old-fashioned. I think you shouldn't scold someone for life and make them a Burns victim. Boring! <laughs> um, so I think that's pretty good advice for that one. Yeah, either that or just ask people around the office. Can Or, you know, labels uh, or ask around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, someone just sent one in. Oh, oh one's just come in, George. Oh, hello. Not it's like I asked it to. Today. Right, that's my one this time, isn't yeah, it? there you go. Thank you. Oh, good catch. That was quite good, wasn't Teamwork. it? Teamwork. Here we are. Hi, George and Max. That's us again. Ah. Come to the right place. Yeah. I was wondering if you could help, as I feel I've recently embarrassed myself in front oh. of the girl I like. Oh. Been there. Yeah. I've not got a lot of history with girls. Been there. Yeah. And have started to really fall for her. Let's call her Julianne. Oh, shit then. Hell of a long name as well. Yeah. Um, That's not going to crop up in the shop when you try and find your name on the little... Keychains and stuff, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> pointless bit of concept. Uh, pointless uh, side hustle. What? Yeah. Due what? to my lack of history, I tend to get a bit excited. Oh, boner. Is that what that means? Um, you they, can read into it if you want. Right, I will do. Not everything's a boner, Max. Mm. So I've in found a method where I hide it by tucking it in my waistband. Mm. <laughs> Popular method amongst yeah. uh, many a team. I tuck it I... in my headband. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. you know, we can only uh, wish that we were that massive. endowed. I thought this was a great idea until last week I went to help Julianne oh. get something off the top shelf. My t-shirt rose up and I'm scared she saw more than she bargained for. Oh. What do I do? That meant to be a slam. I whacked my arm on the chair and I feel embarrassed. Oh, I think... So the issue is the constant boner. The issue is that top rose up when trying to help female whilst having a boner and little mushroom appeared i didn't need to oh i didn't need to hear that <laughs> didn't need to be didn't need to hear it be called that i'll tell you that much mm. little mushroom could have been a big mushroom probably not he listens to our podcast could have had a hell of a tiny dicks on it. only am i right no anyway um one cough between lessons that is not a good idea why not? Not enough time. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't knock it till idea. you tried it. Oh, that's it. That's how things work. Don't knock wanking off between lessons. What also? Why have you made them a schoolboy? They're helping someone in the lockers. Where are they? Where are they at the gym? Do you not know the? They just said to get something off the top shelf of the school. <laughs> Wait, so if this is a fully grown man who's having constant erections, good well, for him. I don't know. I, just... I don't think this is an issue. Well done. I struggle. <laughs> I don't. But you don't, yeah. But don't. also, uh, the girl that they like has just seen their peen peen. Right. Okay. Then. When, First when of all, not in context. Did she report sexual harassment? I, I haven't been given T's and C's afterwards, but. Okay. Well, first of all, what's his name? Um, I believe it's called Toad. Toad. Because of the mushroom. Toad. <laughs> Toad. Did she report sexual harassment? If not, you sound. She's clearly into it. 
I reckon she's. I don't know if she, I'd go as far I as she's, she's into, into it. it. Maybe she's putting up with it. If she didn't report it to the police, usually I take that as a sign that they're into it. Hmm. Maybe that's not the best advice to give. I think it's one hundred percent sound. It's always worked for me. Okay, Ale- On the- Alex. Max. <laughs> okay, Max. Alex has got some sex offence case to so, get. So used to just yeah. dealing with the allegations. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I think it's not that big of an issue, unless it is that big of an issue, if you know what I mean. But I reckon if she didn't say anything and she saw your cock, she must be into it and open to it. I reckon we're increasingly revealing clothing every time that you see her. Just go James Carl's Co- Coachella to work next time. I think you might need to say that again because that <coughs> didn't make any sense. Just go James <laughs> Charles to Coachella to work next oh, time. That's quite a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah. James Charles <laughs> to Coachella. Like James Charles, not a tongue twister. Uh, yeah. Like razor burnout. Razor burnout? James Charles had razor bumps because he'd been shaving his... Oh, um, bloody hell. Some of us didn't zoom in that far. Yeah, I did. Um, so, yeah, if you if you cocks to the wind maybe tuck your shirt in good idea or don't tuck your willy up so high that it's revealed to the world what is wrong with showing off our boners they happen in uncomfortable situations it's there let's embrace it if my trousers are sticking out to high heavens don't bring it up mum do you know why my mum's there <laughs> <laughs> why you, why have you invited I don't know your why mum my to the party? There, but she's here and it's happening. So let's just get on with it. I'm a young, sprightly lad. I'm going to get erections. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I say okay. we normalise erections in public. But yeah, we're making a whole. As long as they don't get it out and force it upon someone. Oh yeah, I'm not say forcing erections upon people. That was no. an accident. Yeah. I'd say perhaps I've got a slightly differing view. If you've got an Shopping. erection, perhaps still hide it, um, but make sure it stays hidden as opposed to going, well, that's it then. Everybody see my cock. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, but if everyone has but seen if your she's cock... O- if she's okay, with, if she seems like she's fine, I reckon it's not a big deal. It's not that big of a deal and get it out again. No. Yeah. Well, no, not, not get it out not again. Not get it out again. Um, just be careful next time. Yeah. That's good advice, isn't it? Be careful. Yeah. Stow it away better. Yeah. Cheers, Todd. Oh. Spoken like a, a true... C- can you hear that? I can now. Oh, it's the phone ringing again. Oh, That's bloody hell. That. Let me just... I'll pick it up this time. Is that all right? Um, yeah, go for it. Okay, thank you. If you can reach... Oh, bloody hell. Hi, oh, Max. Man, he's... And I want to say Clark. I've got a real dilemma on my hands. Everywhere I go, I bump into the same guy. Oh. Coffee shop, gym. That's not his name. They're oh. places. Uh, Restaurants, the post office. Every time I turn my head, he seems to be there. Oh, God. We exchange a nice smile. I don't think he's a stalker. Oh. But I do believe in fate. Oh. Is the world trying to put me with this guy? Oh. I've never dated a man before, but it feels like we're meant to be together. What do I do? Wow. That's quite tricky, isn't it? Because you've had a similar situation, haven't you? Yes, but I consistently bump into a man and I feel like I fancy him. Oh, and you're looking right at him. So I made a podcast with him. Uh, Have you considered making a podcast with said man? (laughs) Yeah, might work Um, out. Boy, it's a very very sticky situation. It is difficult because you don't want to assume that someone's stalking you. No, But if everywhere you go, they are there, uh, to the point where you're thinking about shagging them, I think that that might be an issue. I don't think he said I'm going to shag them. I think he oh. said he's never been with a man, but maybe it's fate. Right. So up to the idea. Yeah. But you know, not necessarily. I think that's a bit of a strange thought process because I see lots of people all the time. Yeah. Um, for but example, be... family members, and I don't assume that it's fate and that we're supposed to be together. I think. I think, I think it's fair to assume that this was not a family member, as the. You tend to meet them at your home as opposed to the post office, the gym, and yeah. everywhere else. Right, that's true. Um, Do you believe in fate? I don't. I think it's a lot of bullshit, to be honest. Wow, God, shit on his dreams. Yeah, sorry to be a bit negative. Um, mm. That's French for negative. Oh, I was wondering I, what it was. Yeah, I think that things happen. They do happen. They do. He's not wrong. Do you know what? Things just be happening. And um, Get that on a t-shirt. Things be happening. <laughs> and my drink's gone straight to my head. So that's about as far as I can get right now. <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> um, um, I would say uh, 
if it's... if it feels right go for it mate um sorry i say mate i don't, don't know, know who you. it is um if it feels right there you go sort it out there we go just cover up the hole in the middle of the desk yeah, we'll do. um if it feels right go for it that goes for every walk of life unless illegal well looking at you andrew oh if it feels right put it away are you, th- are you saying my boyfriend or prince andrew prince right thank god so i was gonna yeah. say if you know something i don't let me know i will do um do you no good um <laughs> <laughs> i think that things are just coincidences if I I thought that was like a weird gesture that you were doing then Max stop yeah I was like oh my god <laughs> um, I think just that next. if everything seems as though it's meant to be sometimes it's bullshit I had a <laughs> what, a, what a lovely outlook on life sometimes it is just bullshit I had this boyfriend that I met I think I've seen that and, on Tumblr um, before oh yeah probably Tumblr quote and um, we both moved to the same place at the same time and we were like, oh my God, it's so fair. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. And it was my first boyfriend, his first boyfriend. Oh. And then his parents thought that I was a gay demon who would come to possess him. Bloody hell, they're a good judge of character. Well, yeah, that's what I said. And then yeah. upon reflection, I said, actually, that's a bit rude to go off straight from the bat. If I'd oh, said he was a never few straight off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> but you just never know. Everything is not what it seems. And we yeah. broke up shortly after. Um, and he did actually publicly say that we were together on Facebook he posted oh, that we were in a relationship bloody hell, I bet a lot of people saw that they did and um, then the next day he said that I was a freak who had hacked him his brain his Facebook account oh often confused makes more sense though. yeah I thought yeah. About hacked him to be his boyfriend no 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 and um, so it didn't work out but at the time I thought that everything was fate and it was meant to be and um, now I don't know what he's doing he's probably got wife and kids Mm, that's yeah. an interesting story uh, but back to this person right uh, <laughs> long story short I don't think that it's fair I think that they're just a weirdo who's following you around they could... so don't fall for them if you don't want to shag a man no, if you that's if a you... sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today mm, if you feel like it's right go for it but if you feel like it's right just because you've seen them a lot you sir have a next door neighbour yes <laughs> <laughs> do you know what yeah. yeah. Do you live in a really small town? Um, Possibly. Maybe that's why you're bumping into them all the time. Probably Sounds yeah. more like it to me. Right. Um, oh. Who's up next? I'm getting... Do you know what? Weirdly, just as you said that, one's come in. I'm going to send it to print now. By me. This is working like clockwork. <laughs> like clockwork. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm copywriting that. You can't. Oh, you can copyright it all you like. Nobody's going to steal it. it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, blimey. Get that, get that down, <laughs> you lad. That is fucking horrible, that. You're playing it off well. Oh, I felt my cheeks move then. I've gained weight recently and I'm not... Sounds okay like a Saturday it. night. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm upset. Hi, boys. I'm a liar. It oh, used to God. be white lies, but apparently that wasn't enough. Jesus. Telling my girlfriend her ass didn't look like a sack of... I can't say it. It's so weird. Telling my girlfriend her ass didn't look like a sack of spuds didn't give me my fix. I've started just lying for fun. So much so that I've convinced my friends I've been singing for years and had the same vocal coach as Nicole Scherzinger. Big name. And I've done a few small weddings. They've now put my name... As in dwarves, or do we think? I think it just means small venues. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We could ask, could we? Can't assume nowadays. Um, they've now put my name into the school talent show Funny. and it's tomorrow and I actually sound like the drain when you empty a bath. It's quite unique. Mm. Um, what do I do, Millie? Um, well, come in, I used to be a compulsive liar. I used to lie. Used to? Well, I used to lie about my sexuality a lot. Does that count? Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit different to a little bit telling different people just you telling can me. sing when there you There was come. a boy, oh my God, there was a boy that I used to be friends with. Oh my God, school. tell me about him. Tell me about him. 
hate you. That's, that's actually quite homophobic. I didn't like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. Anyway, um, you'll hear from HR soon. Anyway, there was a boy who used to be in my friendship group. I know. A gay person being friends with the straight boy. How weird. What the hell? Um, yeah, crazy. Where, where's that? Thing? And we should get a podcast. he randomly told us one time that, do you remember around like the 2012 Olympics when Tom Daly was like cool and he yeah. wasn't gay yet? So people, he was like mainstream cool. Just running around in his skimpy little speedos. Indeed. Who could have called and it? And it was like, whoa, diving is cool now. And he mm. told us all that he did diving. So we were like, all right, okay, that's a bit random to suddenly take up, but okay. And then he went on with this lie for months. We would ask him, how was your diving? Oh yeah, really good. I'm, I got to this place now, like blah, blah, blah. About six months later, after asking him so much about it, we eventually got the leisure center that he was doing the diving in. We called them up and he'd been lying the entire time. What did you call him? Did you, was, I assume you were, you assumed that he wasn't a diver. Yes, 100%. Because the only picture that he'd sent us of him diving was incredibly pixelated and could have been anyone. Oh. So he was bullshitting. We called them up and it wasn't real. That's what was the odd. question? Um, <laughs> I'm a compulsive liar. Oh, so yeah. then he had to be, he got called out in front of us all and then never did anything weird like that again. Well, it sounds like Millie's going to have that happen to her. She needs to be called out. She's doing talent show tomorrow. Oh, God. It's called talent show. Do you have any talent? She can't Millie? sing. She can't sing. She's going shit. to, she has to sing. She has to sing. Maybe rap. I don't know. If, I Not mean, if you can rap, Millie, go for it. As in, like, I meant like present rapping. That's funny. That is. Yeah, thank if you. If you can rap a Christmas present instead of singing, yeah, Millie, go for that. Go for that. Um, what else could you do? I mean, the show's not over till the fat lady sings. And oh. Millie, if you put on a couple of pounds, love, you could make the your show. Your is over. Yeah. I say, look at yourself in the mirror and go, I'm a lying bitch, I'm a lying bitch, I'm a lying bitch. Three times to be specific. Yeah. And then... A lying bitch will appear. 100%. Yeah. And you'll realise that you are the lying bitch and you need to stop. I used to know someone called Millie and she's a fucking bitch as well. Oh, so wow. it might be her. Um, I hate her so much. <laughs> so it might be her. Who I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a lie to go all in on. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. you know, you're gonna if that's a lesson, people... If you lie, you're always going to get found out. Absolutely. Um, I once told a lie as well that my... No parents, way. You I told did. a lie once? I did. I know. That I is did. crazy. My sister once had her mates round and we lived in a house where we had one next door neighbour because it was like on a hill. Really weird. Um, and Jack she, and Jill. Yeah, basically. Um, and her friends were doing my head in. I was trying to play Call of Duty, if you can believe it. Bloody hell. Call of Duty. Of course. That's Lads. the lie, guys. That was the lie. He's, oh my, again? No, I thought you I thought you didn't notice it. Ignored. How could I not notice ignore. it? Ignore. Shut up. Ignore. Not happening. Done. You can't just say ignore, ignore as if I'm just going to go. Vanish. No. Not happen. Didn't happen. It 100% did no. happen. You need to stop burping, No Max. happen. It's the first episode. Zero happened. Can't, Nothing. Can't burp at everything. I'm not. Stop this. What is it with you? Don't do this on a night out or anything, or do you? Do you Stop just, this. Do you I just, think it's just do you that just seltzer. burp into the club. Yeah, I do. And I blow it away. Everybody in the club getting burpy. Oh my god, that was horrible. I hate that. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. I want to quit job. Anyway, no, I just like that um, one so much. And my sister, <laughs> my sister was doing my head in, so I told her that the neighbour just came round and asked her to be quiet. Didn't happen. The next day, my sister tells my mum. My mum then proceeds to tell multiple people. Can you believe that she came round? Bear in mind, our houses were miles apart from each other, so there's no chance that they could have heard. And uh, then it eventually, a week later, got round to this woman who then came to my house and was like, "I just want you to know, I didn't do that." And then I got in loads of trouble. Bro, Max, so like don't lie, rumors. Millie. Yeah. Stop it, lying bitch. Yes, Millie. Yeah. I'm afraid you've gonna get, you're gonna get your comeuppance. And um, that's not sexual unless you no. want it to be. Emphasis on the cum is that is that the oh, joke? There? I don't like it. I did, it's, I think when I allude to summer and then you go all in saying cum, oh. it just makes me. Oh, I'm upset again. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Sounds like a phone ringing. Why don't you? Oh wait, I. Oh yeah, you pick wait, it. Wait, yeah. Oh, you're so northern. <laughs> Thank um, you. Right. I wear that as a badge of honour. Oh, that's good. Hi boys. Firstly, I love you both, but I was wondering if you could help me out. 
A picture of my tits has been leaked around my town, <sighs> and oh, now I every man and his dog is trying to slide into my DMs. To be fair, I do have a cracking set. Like, my nipples are quite big, but I imagine if you're into that, it would, like, really get you going. Anyway, I thought that now you've both shot to fame, you probably deal with people trying to move to you, like, all the time. How do you deal with it? Sincerely, Big Nip Nelly. Ooh, Big Nip Nelly. Well, Big Nip Nelly, I, too, have rather large protruding nipples. People always say my nips protrude. In what way? That they protrude? I'll wear a top. Like doing sports, as in like they poke out, and they'll be like, "Oh, George, I can see your nipples." It's like, "Yeah, well, that's just anatomy, mate. That's how it works." Yeah, you can also see my arms and my shoulders. You're not mentioning them, are you? Yeah, yeah, but people always say got so you have more like outy nipples. Yeah, I don't think you can get any nipples. See, I have more like soft nipples, as in, (laughs) as in they don't, (laughs) as in they don't really like protrude, but they can appear quite large in circumference. I'm I'm painting a picture like I have giant nipples right now. I don't. What size of the areola? I'd say like the, the but the weird thing is when I pinch them they shrink to normal <laughs> size. <laughs> what like you're on Photoshop? <laughs> Genuinely, you pinch them. Wait, I'm gonna pinch them now. Wait, is this too much for YouTube? Oh, so what you gonna... twizzling your nipples? Watch, Maybe so they come out, now it's pointed and it shrinks like the um the surrounding bit of it shrinks. Wasn't the question? Literally, wasn't the question? Whose question? I said, how big's the areola? And you go, oh, depends if they're erect or not. It does. It This change. What is an areola? The bit around the grande. nip. Grande. Areola grande, yeah. my favourite musician. Yes. So what? So she, the, the I haven't bit, seen hers. The pink circle. <laughs> I wish. My, the pink circle. Yes, the it pink changes. The pink circle? The pink circle. The, <laughs> Bloody hell, that could be something very different. Oh my God. It changes when it's pinched. I'm not joking. I'm not going to get them out because that would be humiliating. Maybe that's your superpower. They change it. it it's, it's naturally about. I'd say it's naturally about that big. That that's a hefty nip. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, maybe it's that big then. I don't know. Don't lie to us about your nip size. No, it is like it's like that big. All right. And then when it's pinched, it goes to like. Why are you pinching them all the time? How much knowledge do you no, have? No, because have a pinched I saw nip? it. Because I didn't realize until I was with my recent boyfriend. He was like, "Your nipples are quite large." And then and you went, I no pinched, worries. No, and then I got cold, <laughs> and it, it, we watched it shrivel and like shrink. The pink around it almost disappears. It's very bizarre. That seems like like a medical thing. Yes, perhaps. Um, but also has huge nipples, like long. They look like what's-its that hang over. <laughs> so I got him nipple covers. Do they for melt his in your mouth as well, like a no, what's it? Um, <laughs> but awful. Um, what was the question? Big Nip Nelly. She's had her nudes leaked, and she's got yeah. massive tits and with big says, nipples. How do we and deal with people? Into her DMs. Yeah. Well, Bloody hell, you've recited that word. I did. Um, I did indeed. I'm very photographic memory. So, do you get a lot of people sliding into DMs? Because I don't. Um, oh, God. Sorry. I used to. I want to put that down to the fact I that. Did. <laughs> I did. I did. I want to put it down to the fact that I'm been publicly in a relationship for mm. quite some time now. So, people kind of know not to. Yeah. I get the occasional who tries it, but they yeah. often message Andrew as well yeah. at the same time. That's odd. Um, that is odd, but try I guess they're just the edging their best. Relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get many people that try and I've slide had, in? I've had a lot of gay people recently. Really? Um, and also in the DMs. Wonder why. Um, <laughs> that was a joke about uh, me being gay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's yeah. No, I've had a lot. Of, I've had quite a few gay people. In what my do they DMs. say? I don't know. They just go like, "Hey, stranger, Oi, can I get in that little hole? A big mm. hole, I've heard. No, coat hanger sized. Um, no, they. I, don't. I cannot believe your dad put a coat hanger up your ass. I'm he didn't sorry. put a coat hanger up he my did. ass. It was in the toilet. Me. You, you had a Freudian slip there. He put a coat hanger up your ass. I can see it. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I'm, no, it's just the way I'm sat. Alex. Absolutely. Actually, Alex, right. why keep saying Alex? I don't know. You're obsessed. God, I'm just. Uh... Anyway, um, <laughs> how <was> you? <laughs> the DM situation. Yeah, what it's... do people say? What do gay men say that try and come on to you? They're like, oh, do you want to switch it up? I've, I've, had one, I've had one for recently, actually. Oh, oh. Here's, here's one I made earlier. Oh, this is from a man called Christian, who in his profile picture is pretty much naked. Let me see. Oh, bloody hell. No, I meant like, because I what, imagine if I knew who it was. Nah, I don't know who that is. Says, hey, I'm Christian. How are you doing, mate? Which isn't exactly... <laughs> that, <laughs> it's That's not, not exactly, very enticing, It's not groundbreaking. It? Um, but no, I've had, yeah, I've had uh, just a few men. Maybe you just attract that sort of vibe then. Maybe Evidently. that's why no women want to sleep with you. Have you ever thought about that? That could be the reason, Max. It could be. I used to, when I was uh, like 50,000 followers. Um, All right, show off. 
<laughs> I don't need to flex, but uh, I used to have 50,000 followers on oh, TikTok. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, when I was on 50,000 followers, mm. 50,000, should I say it again? 50,000. Yeah, yeah. 50, One 000. more time. Followers that are uh, 50,000 of them. Right, okay, um, that's nice, yeah. And if you want to sort of picture that, it's basically like a stadium of people Oh, just loved me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're not, yeah. So, 50, have you ever thought followers. about doing a meet and greet? Uh, no, it's, I know that you couldn't queue along. The queue would be too long. It'd be like, right. like the, you know, when the Queen, um, yes. sadly, RIP. Uh, it'd be similar God to that. God bless his soul. Yeah, yeah it would be, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, so yeah, this. Uh, what, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, so uh, <laughs> when I was on fifty k followers, yeah. Um, How many every, are we on? Uh, about fifty thousand. Oh think. right, okay. Yeah, give yeah, or take. Yeah. Right, could have okay. been forty nine. Oh, could have been fifty one. Oh. Um, right. You learn something new every day. But yeah, so everybody that followed me on Instagram was a gay man. Oh. And I know this every because single it 50, said in their bio. Well, that's the... No, no, that's they, the no entire it wasn't. I didn't community. have 50,000 people follow me over from tip. Like, it was like probably like one a day, maybe. Right. Okay. Um, one gay a day. Yeah, exactly. Keeps, keeps the doctor, doctor away. <laughs> oh, God. Bloody hell, we, we should go. do a podcast. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I had gay of the year follow me as well. I didn't realise that was a thing you could do. I don't think it is. I think that somebody has named themselves gay of the year. No, like, gay's got, winner of gay's got talent. Again, I don't think that's a thing. My, either way, it was one of the two, but, yeah. Gay's got talent? Yeah. Why have I not been contacted? Because they don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, but no, yeah, so that, that happened. Anyway, what was the thing we were um, talking about? So we're talking about this girl who has oh, yeah, massive did we get, tits. Did we get her tits got leaked around the town, yeah. and she has giant nipples as well. And, and she's wondering how we cope with people coming up to us. And I will say, I don't get that many people coming up to me, but a lot of people, when I'm out, if I'm not with my boyfriend, will come up to me to then try and get with me. And then when I say no, they go, yeah, we know you have a boyfriend. And the same has That's happened weird. to him. It is weird. Same Odd. has happened to Andrew. And yeah. he's had to fully message me like, this is just happening right now, which I don't really understand because I'm objectively better looking than my boyfriend and better mm. personality. And I've got a massive cock. Is that the correct word to say? Yeah. You um, would know. You're the expert. I am indeed. And I don't really get why he gets the attention. I understand why I get the attention. Sound a bit jealous. Nope, not me. Um, not at all. But yeah, so I kind of just deal do you, with it. Do you it. ever get attention off girls? I have done. Very, very rarely. I no, remember, so what videos are they watching? I know, honestly. No, no, no. Girls who have never seen my videos, obviously. Right, okay. Um, well, they just see your Instagram. Yes, and they see my if you sick body smiling, like... yeah me wait it's that head tilt actually yeah and what do you do hand in pocket hand in pocket wait this is George can you see me I'm not hunched like yeah, that yeah you are hunch yours is a I actually go yeah which is a very straight way to pose thank you I get that a lot um but yes a girl actually I don't want to say recently. actually message me. Yeah. No, I don't want to say recently because it definitely wasn't recently. But in a club, this girl kept trying to get with me. Damn. Probably about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, I was um, caught off in it. Yeah, yeah. And I was very shocked, very overwhelmed. And I kind yeah. of just said to her, look, you're barking up the wrong tree. Woof, woof. This tree is extremely, deeply, thoroughly flaming homosexual. Wow. It's on fire. Some fire with um, sexuality. And whatever that your body needs, thrush. yeah, to be fair, to make itself feel better, <laughs> it's not going to get it from me. Yeah. I could do a few fingers. I used to finger what? a lot of girls. <laughs> what? I used to finger a lot of girls at like house parties. Tell you what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what I can do. Um, this down here, he's not going to get up for you. Just being honest. But I could probably finger people. I don't necessarily want to. <laughs> How many people have you fingered? What? This is not what? Just... No. no. Let's just skip that. Isn't it strange <laughs> fingering a woman? What? It is. I, in my opinion, obviously, I'm more used to fingering a man. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Back to the question. Yeah. What? Why have you got on to this? Because fingering a woman is like a big wet, like no, sock no, patch. No, enough. What was the question? A big wet filth pit. That you're squirming around in, looking for the entrance. Jesus Christ, that's absolutely just disgusting. Gonna, not filth pit. Female bodies are beautiful. Female genitalia are beautiful. Love that for them. Just doesn't get my winky You've on it. You've gone mental, mate. I have. Um, Where is this? This is. I don't know. The woman's got big boobs. And, and big nips. They got, they got exposed that. on the nearly. internet. Oh, God What do you do? I, just, I guess just 
carry on with life. You, there's nothing else you can do. No. I think if somebody that, mentions your bosoms, go, yeah. That's me. That's them. Yeah. As I said before, I've got quite big nipples and I own it. Do I get them out? No. Would I send it to the whole town? No. But if it did happen, I'd happily walk down the street with them flowing in the breeze. Flowing? Flowing. Danglers. Absolutely. Right. Was that a listen to or was that a get outy? Um, that was a listen to. Yes. Right. It was. Well, George, we've only got to smash it. Oh, well, I we don't know if I'd say smashed it. The best advice that the internet has ever seen. That was definitely the advice. It was. Was it good? I don't know. Mm. But I had a good time. Did I had you? a great time. Oh. Fantastic time. Oh. We should do this again. Maybe like every week. I don't know. Probably. I, I, I reckon I'd be up for that. To be honest with you. Wow. Um, All right. If you've got any queries, uh, what did you call me? Cheeky. Uh, yeah. um, or any questions you want to send in to us, do so at the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. That's an email. It is. Um, or if you would like to send us a voice note that will perhaps be played through this live call device, then send it to phone. our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. That's at the useless hotline pod and at the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. Yes, very good. Um, and until next time. If wait, you're watching wait, this wait, on oh. YouTube and you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe. If you're listening to this, give us a five star rating and give us a review. Let us know how we got on. Thumbs up. <laughs> Please let us know how we did because I'm pretty sure that this was the best podcast you've ever watched slash listened to. Am I right, George? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Probably not. Uh, but we gave it a good go, of and course. that's what counts. Yeah. So until, until next time, time, remember that was a bit weird. Remember, don't put a coat hanger up your ass. Yes, unless your dad does it and it's consensual. Was it consensual? He didn't don't do answer it. Answer that. Um, goodbye. Love you. Thank you for watching, listening, goodbye. everything in between. Stay Ooh. useless. Mwah.